Hey guys, Ernie here. Welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Awesome video for y'all today. We're going to be putting together the ultimate urban survival kit out of this, the Hidden Woodsman survival bag. Thanks for watching. So recently I picked this survival bag up on Malcolm's webpage, thehiddenwoodsman.com. I'll leave a link down below. He is in the process of producing a lot of these because they've been very popular in pre-production and I was able to get one of those, thankfully, ordered it and got it. I love it and I told him I'd be more than happy to make a video about it because he's going to be releasing so many more out there. I would highly recommend you guys go out and get one. What I wanted to do was put together a survival kit using this that covered the five C's if possible for survival as well as a lot of other things that I would use for say quote unquote urban survival. This is the kind of kit that you can either put in your backpack when you go out on a day hike or keep in your car as a survival bag or survival kit in your car every day. So what I'm gonna do is, it's completely empty right now, we're gonna move the camera and I'm gonna start filling it up with all the different things that I want in my kit. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. You guys can see there is a zipper here at the, uh, in the front that'll hold stuff. And then when you open this up, just zips around the edges here. What you've got is a nice survival kit. You've got a D-ring here. You've got a center ring right here. You've got a pocket down here to hold stuff securely. And you've got over here, underneath storage here, and three double loops with loops underneath and then loops just above it. So we're going to fill this thing up. First thing I'm gonna do is cover one of the C's, which is uh, cover. And what I have here is a trash compactor bag. It's basically a really heavy duty trash bag. And this will allow me to make a shelter out of it. I can waterproof things with it. Really simple, and we'll slide it right underneath right here. On top of that, I'm going to put a bandana, just a cotton bandana, very simple, always useful. You can use it to uh, pre strain water, get a lot of debris out of water if you want to filter it, stuff like that. You can also use it uh, as a tourniquet if you need it, whatever it might be, another very good item. And lastly, in that area, I have just some foil. I think it's never a bad idea to have some aluminum foil. We'll just slide it right down there. Next thing we're gonna do is cover kind of like my medication kit, okay? So I have cash, which is $100 that I keep with me. I have a couple of things of Band-Aids. I have one part of the combustion, which is just some Strike Anywhere matches inside of its own little plastic baggie. This makes sure if this gets wet for whatever reason, these are protected. I also have medications including Benadryl, Tylenol, and high-dose Motrin, okay? And what we do with this is Put that at the bottom there, put these here, this slides right here. This is just a gift card container from Academy Sporting Goods, okay? Holds everything real nicely and I can slide it right in here. The other thing I'm gonna slide in there is this. This is just a piece of three quarter inch plywood that I wrapped with probably 25 to 30 feet of duct tape. You can use the duct tape. You can also use the uh, plywood theoretically as uh, kindling if you want to break it down to start a fire and that slides right in here next thing we're going to have is a Sawyer mini this is a basic uh, water filter it can filter straight out of any um, source that you have I will also put this straw attachment so the w water flows this way so you put the straw on the end here you can put this into the water and basically just suck like a straw very very simple you can also attach this or the thread pattern here is basically for almost any water bottle these days which is really convenient so i put that right here in the center like that and i put slide this right in this zipper and i close this zipper up next thing we're gonna have is a flashlight okay this is a uh, thorfire vg 15s one of my favorite flashlights it gets very bright um, and just works extremely well. We're gonna put that right over here underneath one of these first loops here, okay? Sneak it in there, and there's your flashlight, okay? On top of that, I'm gonna put a pen. You can see I just have a small pen. This is an extending pen, and we're gonna slide that right on top right here. The next C is combustion. Uh, this is a strike force ferro rod. I've used it quite a bit. I like it a lot as well because if you take the top off here, you'll see that I have some tinder. I have plain um, cotton balls as well as some Vaseline soaked cotton balls right on the inside there. 
This one sometimes can be a little bit hard to get in there, but it's, we're gonna flip it this way. It's a little longer this way, so we'll flip it this way and just slides right up to that little mark right there. In the center here, we're gonna go with cordage, which is a big old hank of uh, paracord. I don't really even know how much is in there, but it's quite a bit, it fits very nicely right there. I'd say I have at least uh, 50 feet of paracord there, and that's really, really helpful from the standpoint of needing to build shelters or tie anything together. Over here, we're also gonna put a big lighter, which will go right on top. No big deal, just like that. And then for cutting, we're gonna have this old multi-tool I have. This is an old Leatherman. Does have a, you know pliers and the normal stuff, and also a, a straight edge for cutting. Okay, fairly sharp. But it's nice to have a multi-tool, I think, in a situation like this. It's a little bit better for an overall survival kit. Slide that right in there. And lastly, from the standpoint of C's as a container, it's hard to fit a container in this, but this is a, uh, obviously not a container you can boil water in, but it is a container that you can collect water in, which I think if you can have anything uh, for a container is good. A lot of times I just leave this sitting out right here. Um, you can put it into here, and we'll do that for now, but it starts to get a little bulky. Um, anyway, it still works. It closes just fine, and that's what we're gonna do right now. Close it up. Then we're gonna add our last piece of the survival kit puzzle, which is just a pad. I like to have a pad. You saw the pen in there. This just slides right here on the top. And that is my complete ultimate kind of urban survival kit. It's got the five C's of survival plus a lot more. And I think it's hard to beat a survival kit like this. Let's weigh it real quick. I'm not super concerned about the weight, but it's nice to give y'all a reference here. I can't see, it's two pounds, basically three ounces. So, you know, a two pound survival kit that I think is pretty formidable and carries a lot of stuff that you can use in an emergency. All right, so that is it. That is a look at the Hidden Woodsman survival bag. This is $40 on Malcolm's uh, webpage. I think it's worth every dollar. You can see how much stuff I got into this well-planned, well-engineered, beautifully stitched item. It's got a big Velcro patch here on the back so you can attach it to anything that's Velcro. You can also put some awesome patches on the back if you just wanna kind of bling it out, you know, that kind of thing. If you're into that, that'll work for this. You can compare this to something like this. You can see this is much smaller. This is another kind of survival kit that I have. I bought this at an army surplus store. Um, the quality, uh, this is a Condor. The quality is decent, but it doesn't have anywhere near the capabilities as far as space and it certainly is not uh, put together nearly as well. These zippers are much more inferior in quality. Uh, and the, the, the straps and everything just aren't the same. It just doesn't compare to the handmade, American-made product that Malcolm makes at the Hidden Woodsman. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the channel. I hope you enjoyed this survival kit. If you have comments, questions, uh, suggestions on what I should add, what I should take out. I'm always open to those things. I put this together fairly quickly, similar to something I have in my car, but I really like this kit better. It's so easy to carry with me. I feel it's the kind of thing that I can just take with me. If we go out of town, I can throw this in a car with me. I can throw it in my backpack. It's only two pounds. This thing will go with me pretty much every time I go out in the woods, just in case as a backup. It has everything that I might need to survive if I get into a situation. I can but build myself some cover with the trash bag. I've got plenty of cordage. I can start a fire, all those things. Something I think is often forgotten is money. I think it's important to keep money inside your survival kit. And the medications also really help because if you hurt yourself, taking some Motrin or some Tylenol can make a huge difference between being able to get to safety and feeling okay to do that versus not having any medicine at all. It would also maybe be helpful to include some Imodium in this kit. We just don't happen to have any, but I will add some to the kit as soon as we get some for the house. So as always, guys, I appreciate the support here on Paleo Hiker MD. Look forward to more videos here soon on all kinds of great topics. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.